Hi everybody, I am here with Evil Client and we are doing a series of beginning nail art tutorials. Right now I am doing a rose. I'm going to do a purple rose and it's going to be big. So I am filling this like that. Just a big old over my leaves. The leaves are in the beginning nail art playlist and they will be linked at the end of this video so that you can see all the new ones. Now with this one, I'm going to go and then dot 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 and it's almost like doing the three prong flower that way and that is a bud for a rose so it's still the same stroke it's the same technique but it's going backwards okay so I'm gonna let that dry okay so now I have the purple right here and I'm going into the white and I'm gonna move my stuff into the middle here Get it nice and juicy. There we go. Um, now I'm just going to take my brush into the center. And sometimes it's going to be too light. Sometimes it's going to be too dark. No worries because you can add dark, add light, add dark, add light until it is perfect. But here is the steps. Okay. I start in the center with a little, that's too light. So I have my little mixing palette on my thumb. Okay. And I'm going to put a little white on the other side, and I'm just going to work in there. And every time that I uh, need to, I just wipe my brush like this very lightly onto my paper towel so that I have a clean surface. If it gets a little bit too um, dirty, then I will wash it off with acetone and start over. But it doesn't do it very often. It has to really dry up for me to have to do that. Okay, so in the center. I'm going to go in like that, little, a little C, and then with my, then I go around and then push and then pull up, then go around, push, pull up, go around, push and pull up. And you'll see, like, do you see where, like, the dark purple meshes with the other dark purple? And then it just makes an illusion of a really thin line when really you made a thick line because you have a darker purple on your brush. It'll make sense the more you practice. You just keep going around opposite, kind of like brick laying. You want one brick here and then one brick right next to it. But then the next brick will be between the two, like this so that it just folds upon each other. Then, on the bud, I'm just going to highlight, wait for that to dry, wipe my thumb off, and then I'm going to make a light, light, light purple. So, my paint needs to be sprayed again with water. I mix a light, light purple. And then I'll be working with that here. And with the very tip of my brush, I'm going to be using my brush almost straight up and down. It won't be so that I can just use it as a very, very light line. Like that. And I want to go in to the center as close as I can make it and dot it in. Dot, 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 closer, closer. Dot it in. And it will start coming to life. Now that looks um, a little bit like um, 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 harsh. Because, because it's so light, but when you top coat, it blends it. And a lot of people say, Robin, what, when I top coat, my design disappears. That's because you want it to be a little harsh before you top coat. And that's, that's something that I learned um, the hard way through doing nail art and practicing so much, is because that used to happen to me all the time, and it was very frustrating. And I remember it being a key thing that I didn't think that I would be able to solve. But you have to, make it a little bit harsh at the beginning and and you're gonna start to just feel 
when it's the right amount of harshness. But when you add your top coat, it should all blend down together and just become like this beautiful seamless design. That's what your goal is. And if it still is a little bit too harsh, like this might be a little bit too harsh because I have to show you the technical, but um, if it is a little too harsh, that's okay. Having a little bit of a harsh design is better than having one that doesn't show. So be gentle on yourselves. And then on top, and there you have a rose. Now I can work on this and get it more and more, but I want to show you that when you coat it, it blends down and it looks lovely. Okay, there's your rose.